Hey there everybody, it's Robert here. It's Sunday, we got the dump trailer right there. I got some great tips on buying your first dump trailer, so please stay tuned, watch the whole thing. Gonna be some good nuggets and everything like that. If this is a hustle that you're interested in, we can make your life a whole lot easier, help you avoid some mistakes. So we'll go through tomorrow, which is gonna be Labor Day, but I'm still hustling, I'm still grinding because at 55, I wanna be done. At six years from now, I'm hanging it up. I'll let the young folk take over and everything. Be less competition. I'll be getting out of your way. This is the good stuff. I've got some great tips on the dump trailer coming today. we go we're gonna be taking that to the dump and uh, we'll go over a few things that uh, to look for one of the first things you want to check out is to make sure that all the lights on the trailer work this is going to be huge because there is so much work that these things do that it's real easy for the wiring to get ripped up to uh, have damage that occurs and so you want to make sure that your running lights your marker lights your turn signals everything works before you make the purchase the reason for that is one safety number two you don't get stopped and the third thing is is that if you're buying one used like I did and you have to have the lights rewired you're gonna to have to figure that cost into your purchase price to see if it's a good deal or not so make sure all your lights are working Problem. Got the dump trailer behind us. We are headed to the landfill. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It's Labor Day. Um, if you got the day off, enjoy it. Me, I'm about to go through the scale house here at the uh, Perdido landfill. Got a trailer full of uh, stuff that some folks loaded up yesterday. So I was doing the dump trailer hustle. We're just uh, making things happen and uh, getting closer to retirement and financial freedom. That's what it's all about. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed. Okay, so on the channel, we've already been to the dump this morning. We've gone over to look for about the lights. The next thing that we're going to do is, is we're going to check our doors. And the reason I say that is, is on used trailers, doors are real easy to get damaged to where they don't open and close properly. And that can be another expense trying to get those fixed. Or it might even render the trailer useless if you can't close the doors or if somebody like wedged them shut and then the first time you open them, you can't get them closed again. So let's take this a look. This trailer has primer on the door, which tells me there's something has gone on. You see this, there was extra welds that were done. And what I did was, is I opened and closed it many times before I made the purchase and everything. And it does work fine. This one is what they call a three position door. You can unlatch it to where this opens on the bottom and it acts as a spreader. You can pull these pins off of the top and the whole thing folds down like a tailgate on a pickup truck. Or you can use that latch, open it up, swing your tailgate back. You got these locks right here. And so when you dump it, to make sure that everything's functioning properly with it. We'll go to the next Gordon, These are your wheel bearings right here, okay? If you see a lot of grease or dirt stuck to those, what that means is, is that they have seals that are leaking. Right inside of there, you have, these are called bearing buddies. They have a grease fitting. All of these look to be in pretty good shape. When I bought the trailer, I took a look at those to make sure all the way around. Inspect them yourself as well. Take a look at these as well. This trailer has a lot of weight and minimum you want to run are 12 ply tires. Go ahead, spend the money on them. Make sure you get some good ones. Check them for dry rot. Kick them a few times and everything like that. Um, every time you take it out, inspect it. Make sure that you don't have any nails or anything like that. It's a huge deal because you, you can't run car tires on these because they just don't hold up to the extra weight. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise the trailer up 
and we're going to inspect the hydraulic cylinder. want to make sure it doesn't have any jerking motions as it goes up and down. That'll tell you if it's been tweaked or if it's uh, not had grease in a long time. That's fully extended. One of the areas that you want to make sure is, is this is your pivot pin, okay? They have grease fittings on the inside. You can see some of this. What it is, is these have been greased a lot, and so that's a good sign that the trailer was taken care of. This is what we call a scissor lift design. Basically, your dump trailer will have this, or it's actually gonna have a piston right here, and then a piston or a cylinder right here, and the cylinder right there. They call it a double cylinder setup. This is that scissor lift. Here's the problem with this is, is that it takes so much force to get it to lift up from this point to start going up. And as it goes up, it gets easier. If you got a lot that's loaded towards the front, these can be difficult. My other trailer has a scissor lift, but it's from here to here, which it's got a lot more leverage going up. So it's a better design, so to speak. Notice on that cylinder, it's nice and clean, okay? That tells me that there's no leaks on it. We're gonna come over here, and if you see the top of it, you wanna make sure that you look right around in that area right there where the cylinder and the ram come together. If you see a lot of discoloration, then you got a seal that's going out on it, and that's not a good thing. I also look for right there, there, you'll see grease fittings inside of there where the uh, end of the ram is there's grease fittings and then you got grease fittings on each side of that so not only have we looked at the lights we've looked at the wheel bearings the hubs we've looked at the pivot pins we've looked at the cylinder and then the final what we want to check out is our hydraulic unit okay now when you look in here You'll see some assorted stuff, but the bottom of it is dry. What that tells me is, is it's in pretty good shape as far as there haven't been any leaks, nothing's busted, and then blown all over on the inside of it and everything like that. Those hydraulic units right there, the pump and the reservoir, are available for anywhere from three to five hundred dollars, depending on you know um, how expensive you know what quality you get. You got a battery right here. I've got it to where. It has an additional um, lead on it that goes straight from my battery to each one of my dump trailers so that it's automatically getting charged as I'm going down the road. And when I'm at the dump, it's never without any juice just to um, make sure we're able to get in and out in a timely manner. So there you have it on the No Pay No Stay channel or No Pay No Stay Network channel. We've got the five things to look for when you're buying a used dump trailer to hopefully get your side hustle going and uh, start enjoying a little bit more financial freedom with what you can bring in due to having the uh, extra source of income. So if you got any questions or anything, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll answer them as best as possible. If you got anything that you'd like to add to it, I am all for it because I'm certainly not an expert and I also learn from other people as well. Hope you have a wonderful day. And don't forget to get out and start doing your laboring for your side hustle. It's Robert Biggerstaff with the No Pay No Stay Network.